Hi, welcome to Copenhagen. Thanks for dropping in. Hope everybody is doing well. Today I am unbagging a special drill diamond painting from OneDaySaving.com. So this is actually part two of an unbagging. Uh, I did one previously of a larger diamond painting and I also had a special drill diamond painting in the bag. So this is the video for the special drill one. So I haven't looked at it, it's still in the bag, um, but it was within with the other one. So we'll take it out and then we'll have a look. So not in a box. Uh, one day saving are a budget friendly company and they send out the diamond paintings like this basically. Uh, they don't come in a box they come in a bag. Normally they have a padded bubble envelope but this one doesn't. So it's a special drill diamond painting so we'll open it up, we'll have a look. Um, we've got a thumbnail here so we can see it is a tree. Um, just find the edge which is here. And we'll take it out. So put that to the side and we'll have a look at what's inside it. Put that to the side at the moment and we have the tool kit which is the absolute standard basic kit. We have the green tray to put the drills in, we have the pink wax and we have the standard pink diamond painting pen. So absolute basic kit but it is all we need. So put that to the side and we'll have a look at the drills. Now these are what they call special drills, they are different from normal diamond painting drills. Normal drills are normally square or round. Uh, special drills can be pretty much any shape. The other difference is the special drills you can actually uh, see inside them. They look more like glass. Get rid of that. Um, they look more like glass than uh, plastic, but they are plastic. So we'll have a quick look through to see what we've got in this one. So we've got some green. Now the thing about the special drills is they have a silver backing and that is there to reflect the light back through the drill. So and that's what gives it the effect of it looks like glass. So we have some black I think that is. Some more green, some amber some green ABs. Um, it's quite unusual for special drills, but um, the ABs they have a special coating. These are like normal round drills. They have a special coating on them that reflects light, and depending on the angle of the light, it will reflect different colours. So we can see, or I can see at least, gold, blue, purple, and green. So they have this special coating which makes them extra sparkly. And then we've got some white ones, again ABs. So they have a sort of pinkish purple colour. Some yellow there as well, some red. Again, it just depends how the light hits them. Some pretty big ones here. Again, they're, uh, they're different. I haven't seen ones like these before. Some of them look uh, gold and purple, some of pink. So that one's orange. So you can see if I move them about, they, they change. Pretty cool. And we have some uh, round green ones, but again, they have this sort of multi coloured effect. Sort of green, but they have purple, yellow, red. And we have some teardrop shaped ones, some smaller ones, and some 
green, but again they have purple and blue in them, yellow as well. So these are special drills, but you just apply them exactly the same as normal drills. So you just use your pen with your pink wax and uh, that will pick them up. So we'll have a look at the canvas, put this to the side. <clears throat> so the canvas is uh, pretty much the same as the normal canvases, not as the same, but it isn't covered in glue. Um, they are what they call partial, so this area here has no glue. The glue is where the drills go, so this area will be sticky, but this area isn't. So when you do a normal diamond painting, it'll take a lot longer because normally you would have white drills here and you would have to put them on. Um, when you have the special drills, they aren't together like normal drills. There's spaces between them, they go in curves, they're not straight and straight. So it's just a matter of placing the correct drill on the correct symbol. So we have a key here, so we can see we've got 11 different special drills and then the key, so you can see bag 1 is the two diamonds, bag 2 is the black triangle and then you just look for the symbol, so the two diamonds is here, so that is bag number 1, so if we go back to the bags and we find bag number one, which is this one, so it's green. You see the back. So where these uh, two diamonds are, you would place the green drills on these places. This area here has no glue, no drills. It's only where the symbols are. So to finish this would not take very long at all. Special drills are ideal for people who are absolutely, totally new um, and children as well because you don't have to be too accurate where you put the, the drill. Um, there's a gap in between them so you can be a bit out and it will still look fine. Um, but the other thing is it's a lot faster so kids won't get bored. Um, if they're doing a normal diamond painting they can get bored quite easily just doing white, 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 white that's boring. So if they're placing the drills, plus these drills are a lot shinier, more interesting than your normal uh, drills. So kids would maybe have more of an attention span because they're changing shapes and colours and different things. It's not just the same shape all the time. Um, so definitely a good one for kids to just get used to using the pen, how it works with the wax, um, a good one just as a break for diamond painters, just something nice and easy, don't want something that's going to take days or weeks to finish, just want something quick, quick and nice and sparkly, nice and spring like, it's December so we're looking forward, um, nice, just a nice tree. So once you get all the, the drills on it, it's going to be very bling, very sparkly, you know, catch attention. Um, nice, simple little design, uh, 30 by 30, but doesn't really come into play when you, it's only a partial. You would do this very, very quickly, but um, as I said, it's a good one to do, um, just to get used to using the pen. Maybe a good one for the kids as well, and so we've got a little uh, butterfly down here. Just little things, um, little shapes they can do really quickly, and it would look really nice. But again, uh, OneDaySaving.com, a budget friendly company, they don't box the diamond paintings, they come folded, so you have these creases. So the first thing you want to do is flatten this by putting heavy books on top, leaving it for a few days and that will flatten it or um, alternatively put it under your mattress, again leave it for a few days until it just goes flat and then you're ready to work on it. You don't want to work on it when it's like this because it will stay like that um, and you're going to see these lines so uh, that is the 
the downside, if you want to call it a downside, of the budget companies. The, the upside is the fact that they are uh, more budget friendly. So if you're trying to save a bit of money, and who isn't, um, the, the sort of uh, swings and roundabouts with this is you have to flatten the canvas. But it isn't really an issue. As I said, just put some heavy books on it, leave it for a few days and you're ready to go. So, nice little quick one, um, what they would probably call a snack. A little snack diamond painting. Just something to pass the time and get something nice and bright and cheerful. Stick it up on the wall and uh, it would look really nice in uh, the kids' bedroom, I think. But um, maybe even in the kitchen. But that's it, just a, a nice little simple one, special drill tree from OneDaySaving.com So that was a special drill tree from OneDaySaving.com Nice little clean picture, um, not too busy, nice one for the kids as I said, nice one if you just want to take a break from the big project that you're working on at the moment you just want a little bit of bling um, you could do this in probably two or three hours uh, quite easily I would think um, just a nice little picture I think it would look good as I said in the kids bedroom brighten up the room um, the thing is when you look at the picture you don't get the effect until you've actually done it when you've got the drills on the picture and the light hits them and they reflect all these different colours they can look really really nice and the good thing is they don't take a long time so um, I always think of these things as good ones for maybe um, somebody with the kids or with the grandkids and sit down and um, the, the kids can have a go because it isn't as precise as proper diamond painting where you have to cover the whole image in, in little drills the fact that they're different shapes, they're different colours would keep the kids interested a bit longer, I think. Um, you know what they like though, but um, I think it would be more interesting for them. Maybe get them interested enough that they actually start picking up uh, diamond painting as a hobby at some point in the future. They remember, oh yeah, I remember when I was a kid and I used to do that. I might try it again, that sort of thing. So that's it. Uh, again, nice short video, small canvas, not a lot to say about it, but. Um, yeah, that's a nice, bright little spring or summertime picture to look at in dreary winter. It's now December, so yeah, you can always put it up on the wall and dream. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. And if you're interested in seeing more unboxings, unbaggings, comparisons, please remember to subscribe and hit the notification button. If you do that, you may catch me live on YouTube. Um, I do random lives, um, don't have set days or set times, I just fit it in when I can and I enjoy chatting to other diamond painters around the world and just getting to know them a little bit more, find out what everybody's working on and uh, you can see what I'm working on at that particular time and uh, just basically shoot the breeze, have a bit of fun and that's it, that's all it's about. So that's it, thanks for watching. And in the meantime, take care, be safe and wash your hands.